Today we will do a hairstyle with a classic wet wave. For this, we separate the hair so that small hairs, we were not prevented from creating a perfect parting. We spray water, comb all the hair back, and our first parting will be on the side. Above the eyebrow, we place a comb in parallel on the head above the eyebrow. Then we lift and separate. Parting options. For parting, there can be a lot of wet waves, and it all depends. What kind of wave do you want to make? Perhaps we can make it diagonal. Sometimes we highlight this part. In order to create a second wave, then we will move the main parting a little closer to the center. Now we will have one wave further to the side. We retreat from the center just a little bit. From this point we lead to the end of the parting. How wide the selected strand will be depends on the thickness of the hair. If the hair is not too thick, we should allocate a little more so that our wave is... No holes. If there is too much hair, then we will make the strand thinner so that it does not take too long to dry and there is no too much volume. We're trying it on, approximately. How our wave will go, and whether we have enough hair after we have selected a strand. We combed it forward. To the face. Further, fix the clamp. Under the bottom, I twist it. and fix it above. We succeeded. Selected strand. Now we will gather all the remaining hair into a ponytail. To do this, I first use some water to collect it. If you are comfortable, you can use foam. Be sure to wet the small hairs to guide them into the ponytail. We take a comb with black and white white bristles. We direct all the hair, all the strands parallel to each other, diagonally, in the tail. and begin to collect the tail. The tension should be very good, necessarily. We immediately use white bristles. Strands parallel to each other comb the tail, necessarily. We start from the parting itself, not the middle. The tension should be very good. The better the tension in the first tail, the easier it will be to create a fairing. I go through it with my hand and make the tension as strong as possible. Then I take a regular elastic band. The main thing is that there is no decoration on it. And tighten the rubber band as tight as possible. Twisting. Here it is necessary to be as tight as possible so that it is narrower. There was no way to spin the rubber band again. Once again.
If I pull with my hand now, I should have virtually no hair sticking out here. Yes, it means that the tension is good.